everybody and welcome back to SCDC ENT Presents The Age Woman. I am your girl Nicole coming in. I survived. Just want to say Shalom, everybody. Shalom. So, right now, we just going to have a brief talk. And um, today, I'm going to talk about being a good wife. Because a lot of people say, oh, a lot of women say, oh, I'm a good wife. I'm a good wife. Well, how do you become a good wife? So today I'm going to help you and give you a few tips on how to become a good wife. Okay, because nobody really knows how to become a good wife because you are not just naturally a good wife. You have to learn to become a good wife. And the way that you learn how to become a good wife is that you learn your husband. You learn your household vibe and the energy. You learn your children vibe and their energy. And you build your life. You build your life caring for them and, and making sure that they have the things that they need and and that goes from 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 a, a educational standpoint teaching them the law statutes commandments uh being there for them supporting them all the way down to making sure that your husband eat right if he got a pimple or anything wrong with him you write on it like johnny on the spot now that's a good wife when you making sure that your kids eat good, when you passing on good values, when you teaching them the laws, you, you raising your daughters in order, that's how you be a good wife. And in order to do all those things, you have to realize that whatever each individual is and however they do their thing, you have to be able to adapt to all those things. Being a good wife is not about doing what you want to do and how you want to do it and, and when you want to do it. It's about developing a plan and a flow that makes that facilitates things to run in a way that's not chaotic for you and for them. It's about creating a harmony, a house of love, because as the woman, that's our responsibility to build a loving and, and, and thoughtful and productive environment in our homes. And when we don't facilitate that, we have chaos and we have issues. And that's just something that we just don't want. Now, like I said, you have to be able to each, uh, you can't, and see, that's why you can't really say specifically about the man because all men are different. You cannot treat men like they are the same. A lot of men, uh, for instance, don't like sex all the time. Some men like sex all the time. Some men like chicken. Some men don't like chicken. Some men like you to rub their feet and take care of them and pamper them. Some men don't like that. You understand? Some men like women to chat with them and have it want to sit down and, and, and communicate with them regularly. Some men just want to be, some men just want silence so they can have their thoughts. You know, whatever type of husband that you have, you have to learn him. You learn him by listening to him. You learn him by understanding his background and his stresses and the things that he went through in his life. You understand him by respecting the fact that he's a man and he is a human and he's had experiences with other women that ain't got nothing to do with you, but you're going to pay for it. <laughs> you know, you have to totally, you will have to totally accept that because you're going to be categorized and you may be categorized for a good reason. You know what I'm saying? You may be throwed off. You may have your flaws and your, and your issues. But in order to be a good wife, you have to tackle those bad things that's about you and, and fix them. Come on, Mom, I'm going to sip you some coffee. Oh, that's good. Okay. So, yeah, you have to figure out those flaws, those negative things about you, and you got to flip them. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't going to lie. I have such a hard time with, with eating, um, like, sweets. You know what I'm saying? But... Now that my husband is sick, I was like, I can't be bringing all kind of sweets in the house, you know, and eating all kind of stuff. But I make sure that he has, you know, something for him because, you know, his mouth get real dry. So he has popsicles and everything. But I don't need any of them, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm, I'm just, I got to be more conscious about the way that I treat my body. You know, we women, we get so busy caring for everybody. We feel like we don't have time to worry about ourselves. And that's just not true. If you have to wake up earlier in the morning than normal, just to give yourself some time to collect your thoughts, if you just have to lay, wake up early and lay there with your phone and get your mind right and think about your day and plan your strategy, 
that's what you have to do because nobody is coming to take care of you and if you fall the house falls so you gotta be like you gotta be on it I didn't realize until my husband got sick like just how much I do around him I do all the washing of the clothes I, I cook I take care of the dogs I'm trying to build a garden outside you know I make I handle the bills I, I make sure he has the things that he need I order everything that we need for the house I have to keep the demons back you know what I'm saying I have to make sure that we honor the Shabbat I have to make sure that he's doing what he's supposed to do you know he has his medicines I got to make sure his doctor's appointments are scheduled and we got the the transportation is situated where we got every I mean it's so much stuff and on top of all that you got people in the health and care industry that if you don't stay on top of them they'll they, they don't give your 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 people good care you know so I just encourage you women like to educate yourself as much about the human body you got to educate yourself about how to keep your family well you have to be there you have to be your family's nurse we all all us women should all we all should be learning medical things we all should be learning about our health because we all need to be able to care for our families okay and that's one thing that i am going to start doing in my group sisters sisters in your house shower on facebook i am going to start i'm already teaching the ladies gardening but i think that we're definitely going to like open up like a healthcare aspect and start teaching the ladies how to uh, dress wounds, how to use herbs, and how to feed themselves. Well, they already, they're gonna, they're gonna, I mean, how to feed yourself properly. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of things uh, that you have to achieve to really be able to claim yourself as a good wife. You can't be slouchful and lazy minded and, and, and you know you just you have to have a plan for your family you you have to really the wife is really the battery that makes the house run because I'm telling you ladies your husband has a plan he has a plan he has dreams that he wants for you and, and, and him and the family to move forward right but you have to listen to him you have to listen to what he says you have to listen to what he don't say you have to be able to season that chicken so when it fries it's just delicious just, order your brow, like just kiss your fingers when you're done so <laughs> you have to be able to help him develop his dreams you have to invest in him you have to care about what he thinks what he sees and what he wants to accomplish that is that is the sign of a good wife because when you're totally on board with what your with what your husband is about and y'all and y'all moving in the same direction all the wheels got to move in the same direction for the car to go you ain't got two wheels that go backwards and two wheels that go forward because you ain't going nowhere if you do that you know what i'm saying so when you got everybody moving in the same goal not just you thinking about your t-shirt business or your clothing line you're thinking about your husband and what do he what does what does he want how can i incorporate him in my business if i do have a business if he's interested in anything like this talk to him and ask him you have to come you have to come you need to be communicating with your man like as much as possible <laughs> because that is the only way you're going to figure him out he has you have to hear his stories you have to remember what he has told you you have to remember what you what you see stories that he's told words that he's spoken you have to listen to that because through your listening is how you learn how to love him and that is not that does not require you talking that does not require you leaving feelings about anything. If he likes a cootie on Thursday, then give it to him on Thursday. And allow him to come back on Friday and Saturday if he wants to. You know what I'm saying? Be in order. If you know it's something that he likes, make sure he got two different flavors of it. You know what I'm saying? And and like I told you, I know a lot of you women who hear me out there, y'all gonna be like, oh, she, she just being... Listen, I'm not talking to y'all. I'm not talking to y'all. I'm talking to the women out here who have been, who know that they have been sent a man by God because the circumstances and different things behind them, even meeting and getting together. I'm speaking to y'all because you already know that you were sent to this man. So you know that you have an obligation to treat this man with a certain type of way. And I'm helping you establish that. I'm not giving you specific things and telling you what I do. I'm giving you a game plan so you can figure out how to implement this plan into your home. Because if you want this man to be happy with you, 
and to be able to rest in you, he got to know that you will listen to him through anything. One thing that my husband know and he loves about me, and he'll tell him, he, he we have a, he has kids with a, a, in another relationship, and I love her. She's a, a good mother to his kids, and she's a good person. You know what I'm saying? We like a family. And one, but but the difference between me and her is, you know, she does, she does, she 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 moves different than I do, because I'm not gonna make a move if he tell me not to. You understand? I'm not gonna make a move if, if he tell me not to. But she was she's very free will. You know, she comes and goes, and she's. You know, I've never been the type of person that like to go a lot. I'm, I'm a homebody person. And when you want to be a good wife, that's a good thing. Because you don't want to be in the streets. You want to be as much as, as much around your family as possible. So, you know. But she's still a great mother. I can't take anything away from her. And I think that any time. And also, too, another thing that give, that makes you a great wife is when you can accept the fact that he had a life before you and don't judge him for that. That's not, you had a life before him too. I'm sure some of you ladies have children that you brought into the relationship. And so that lets you know that you've had a life before him. So we are not in a position to judge and hold grudges and be throwing their pass up in their face. That is not a good wife. That's a good, not, not a good wife trait. You don't throw up his pass in his face. And even, he's not supposed to do it either, but I can't say what he can do. Because we're not talking about them. What we're going to talk about is how we control us and, and, and how we be in order. Okay? So that's going to be, but that part is going to be a whole nother topic for a whole nother day. You know what I'm saying? I love you ladies. And like I said, I, I want you to be happy with your man, which with the with the man that God sent you and with the man that you want to be with. You don't wait it so long. You don't have so many duds. Now you got to stop. And you don't even, you, you don't even, you're not even happy with the star. Because the star, you know, you, you maybe you're not ready. You know what I'm saying? But the only way that you can get ready is to listen to your big sis tell you the truth. You have got to listen. You got to slow your roll. You cannot apply the same thing that you applied to the previous man to your new man. You're going to have to forget all that wickedness. And also to remember, we are, we keep the commandments. So we have a certain, we got a certain way to move. And you got a certain order that you have to be following. You know what I'm saying? You you read these scriptures in the Bible, but you got to apply the wisdom of these women. Not sit up here and look at who she is and what her ethnicity is and her background. That is crap. That's why I don't discuss doctrine. I'm not going to be on this show arguing about who, nothing. Because my thing is you have to apply the principles to what it is that you're trying to do. I, I, even when, even before I knew that Jesus was a black man, you know, I didn't care what color he was because I didn't look at, first of all, I knew it probably was a lie anyway because only, uh, only a black man get beat as bad as Jesus did. So I kind of knew that, you know what I'm saying? So, but the, the thing about it is, is that I didn't look at the, I didn't look at the, the color of the skin. I looked at the content of the character of the person. I looked at what he said and what he did. And I, I, I respect the sacrifice that he gave me. I respect the, 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 the order that, that God bestowed upon me. And I want to be that. That's why I chose the Hebrew name Tova. Because Tova means God's goodness. And I'm not the greatest. I'm not perfect by no means whatsoever. But when he look at me, I want him to know she did mean me. She did try to do good by me. She got, she was a good girl. She was a good girl. She was a good woman. And her actions show me. Hey, if, 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 if he look at my job, and he see that and he just feel that I'm worthy and he, if, if the most high just know and just just look at me and say that I, I was a good person that I was a good woman to my husband a good woman to my kids I could be I would be okay with that because that's a blessing just to be just to be looked at as a good person to, to, to truly not have animosity and hatred in your heart towards your sister to honestly truly whatever knowledge, wisdom, and understanding you can give them, you give it to them just 100, whether they mad at you or not, but you give it to them anyway, and you see that good works, and they trust you because they know what you're telling them is the truth, and they see it when they apply your wisdom that you give them to, give to them. There's not a lot of people in your life that you're going to meet that's going to mean you well. 
some of your closest people and family members is not going to mean you well. But when you get somebody in your life that'll give it to you hardcore and you apply it and you get good results, you hold on to them because that's a prophet or a prophetess. And, and and not a lot of people have the access to a prophetess to help guide them so they can avoid the mistakes in life. You don't have to stumble on every roadblock there is. You can do great things if you slow yourself down and get some guidance from somebody who's been in your steps. There's nothing wrong with following somebody else's pattern so you can avoid these mistakes. You don't have to lose your husband. You don't have to lose your children. You don't have to fall out the truth because you're so caught up on worldly things. Get God and seek help from women who have been through those things. Don't suffer in silence. If you're going through issues in your marriage, reach out to sisters for help because they will give you what you need. You can always email me at queenforcreation at gmail.com. I always got a word for you. I always can help you with any anything because a righteous person, a, a spiritual person can judge all things. You can always reach out to me. And if I can't do anything, at least I can give you a good word. You know, don't suffer. My thing is, and, 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 and who better to understand what you're going through than somebody who won't be there too. You know what I'm saying? I do you you don't know. You don't know somebody's journey. You don't know somebody's struggle. And and you looking at like the walls are closing in on you and you all alone and you confused because you got this narcissist bullying you and doing all kind of things to you. Reach out to your sisters. Learn how to deal with that, because that ain't nothing but a demon. These these evil vibes that we have in our house that oppress us is nothing but demons. And we have to be women of God and we have to know how to deal with them. I don't want to tell a whole nother subject on oh, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry, it is that went on for so long. So I just want to close out right now. I know I done got in here and started talking, 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 but I just really love talking to you guys. And I thank you for the emails at queenfirmcreation at gmail.com. Uh, don't forget to check me out on YouTube, The Age Woman. Um, I have some old videos before I was in the truth still just telling you just giving you the basics and these videos are old so some of my opinions have changed i'll probably be uploading some things but right now i'm concentrating on this because it's easy you you gotta hear me it's not about my me getting nice for the camera i'd rather be in your ear so i can get into your mind and you can listen to what i'm saying you know what i'm saying you gotta hear me and, and, and if you apply what I'm telling you, you will have good works. And if you if you can't work out a plan, I didn't drop my email. You can send me a message. I, I'm here for you. If you if, if your intention is to be a good wife to your husband, let me help you build a plan to get you get you on that track like you really want to be. Okay. Shalom, ladies. Uh, thank you for your time and. Make sure you support my channel and definitely, definitely, um, I'll see you next time.